Welcome, uh, ladies and gentlemen. We are live from Chicago. This is the 2023 Papa Nicholas Coffee Shamrock Shootout for the IRT. I am Fabio Soto. Happy to be here and excited to bring you live men's pro final. Mm -hmm. Conrado Moscoso, number one, and number two, Jake Bredenbeck. Number one and number two. Just the final according to seed to this tournament. Welcome, everyone. We're about to begin men's pro singles. After this match, we have men's pro doubles. And here we go. Moscoso will start us off with the serve. Thank you, everybody, for joining us and watching. And remember to like or post, share our feed, and keep following us on social media. This is Sunday. These are the finals, and here we go. Conrado will start us off with the serve. A good shot by Conrado Moscoso. Had the whole right side to himself. Decided to go with a pinch to the right. Good start for Moscoso. Can you show you the level of intensity will be at its peak at this event? Side out, double bounce. Conrado couldn't get to that one. Good return by Jake Bredenbeck. Great return of service. Well, cross court kill shot. I like Jake's serve, though. It went to the right, clipped the right wall. Was not a very comfortable well, shot for Corrado to make, but he achieved it. No reason not to try that serve again. Another good return of serve. And we've seen that wraparound that Jake has always gone for the forehand, not the backhand. So it's a good call for him. Good exchange. Conrado, as you saw, he's not leaving that center court position. That's the key. Take your opponent out of center position, and Jake is going to have quite the task to get Conrado out of there. Make him be in a more uncomfortable position. A high risk, high reward. Conrado with that backhand of his at certain height. Too much risk. It's a good, good play by Jake Bredenbeck. He saw where Conrado was, and instead of going full force, just went for that split on the left. The serve from Bredenbeck. Skip shot. And that's the forehand serves I've been waiting to see yesterday. We expect a lot more of those come from Montoya, but Jake knows full well that he has a better opportunity. Another skip shot. That forehand we're talking about. And Jake has realized what he needs to do. Three serving one. Three serving one. That's the core position right there. Conrado saw that Jake was behind him. Went for that shot in the left corner. But he's just one step behind him. He has to be very, very precise in those shots he's going to take in those corners. That's power right there. You got two of the most powerful players in the professional racquetball tour. Two of the strongest, two of the smartest. 
It's a good serve by Bredenbeck. Great defense on both of them. But Jake, so far, those rallies have been in his favor. At four serving one, Bredenbeck is off to a great start. Four point run. That was Conrado's plays yesterday, cutting off those shots, just not giving any opportunity for that ball to bounce back. He's playing it close to the front wall. He's got a better chance of doing it than playing from the back. That is called a good shot. However, there's an appeal. That was a skip. Call stands. That's one appeal lost. So Corrado ended a four point run from Jake. Two serving four. Conrado on the run. What a great rally so far. A lot of hustling there. Jake not happy about it. He had some opportunities. But not in a comfortable swinging position though. Three serving four. Two points in a row for Moscoso. a mistake Jake right there he had that whole left side but he went for that pinch didn't take his time to encroach down he just did it standing up he knows he made a mistake so we'll correct that let's close again with the serve four point run from Moscow so he now regains the lead he was up 1-0 at the beginning of this one now he's 5-4. Side out called. Great return of serve. Jake, despite that good serve from Moscow to the left. skip shot Jake yesterday he was doing a lot of those shots but to the right corner pinch into the right he had really really good success right there Jake Jake did the right play right there. He jumped right in front of Moscoso, did not hesitate to do it, and Moscoso just took that swing. Jake was there, killed the ball. Very smart play by Brandenbeck. Good pickup by Moscoso. Jake being aggressive, down the line win. That is the right play. It all started with that serve to Conrado's forehand. Five, serving five. Every step of the way, Jake made Moscoso uncomfortable in that rally. Good reaction there by Moscoso. Just a flick of the wrist right there. No chance. For Jake, that was just kind of a short hop down the line. Five serving five. Point. 
This is skip scene shot by Jay Hinn that had that wrap around. And these two players are proving that it's not just about being precise and accurate, it's also about making your player go into an uncomfortable position. Conrado, that pinch to the right. Thought he was going to go down the line, but no, very successfully puts it away. Seven serving five, Conrado, two point run now. Good pickup by Conrado. Down the line winner, Jake. Just putting that ball very, very far away from Moscos. And it, each of them giving a pat to each other. That was a great rally. I think both demonstrated great defense in that last rally. Keeping the ball alive. Second serve, that hit the throat wall. High lob, Nick, to the right. It's a good serve by Jake. Perfect. Well thought out plan. Didn't give Corrado room to swing. Went for the kill on the left. another point Jake very very smart about where he's serving the ball now seven, seven, seven. It wasn't just the speed it was the angle and again not a comfortable position for Conrado to swing Eight, seven, seven. want to welcome to the booth the Michael Buffer of racquetball. <laughs> the Barry White of the IRT. Good morning, Fabio. There you go. Lauren McManus, welcome to the booth. Oh, Jake with a fantastic play. I'm sorry I'm late. I couldn't find a valet <laughs> to park my car, so. <laughs> what did I miss? Well, so far, so good for both of them. But even though... It's seven serving eight. Jake has been really picking his spots well with Moscoso. He's being more uh, surgical, if you will. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing, you know, how he's chronologically trying to dismantle him. And, you know, he's making him make, take uncomfortable shots, uncomfortable position. You know, that's a good return of serve. But so far, he's exploiting Moscoso's right side more than his left, which is a difference right now. It's something that, for example, last night's semifinal that Montoya missed a lot of those shots. Correct. So instead of challenging Moscoso one on one to see who has a better full backhand, this time, right now, Jake is exploiting his forehand. It's working really well. You know, I think we all know that uh, Jake traditionally sometimes has kind of a slow start in the first game. Um, and I guess I'm not sure how he did as this game began, but we're at eight serving seven. <laughs> a point. Moscoso thought there was a double bounce. I don't see him appealing. He thought it was a double bounce. Jake got it. The problem is that Moscoso was waiting to see if there was an appeal. No, there is an appeal. Appeal lost. There you go. Well, you have to at least take the chance. Again, if you feel you're confident in what the decision is going to be, you need to make that effort to at least try. And he has two, you know. He just got one. He still has another one. And he can appeal on in game point if necessary. Right. I hit the front camera. Hashtag just a replay. It'll be kind of interesting. You know, Jake and Perea had a pretty good match yesterday, yes. obviously. But then last night, Moscoso and Montoya had this marathon over two-hour match for it, just two games, which, I, of course, Moscoso I, Iron won. Iron Man match for sure. Yeah, absolutely. 
So it'll be, be kind of curious to see who has the staying power this time. Well, you know what? After this double fall from Jake, you have to wonder. You know, not very common to see these guys do a double fault. Could be some adrenaline flowing that they're just having a difficult time controlling. That's a swing and a miss right there. That's been giving trouble to some of these athletes in this court. You know, Robbie Collins was here with us in the booth last night, and he called this the glass monster. And he said, Fenway has the green monster. Right, exactly, yeah. Well... When you think about it, you've got three walls that are reflecting every which way, so it can become disorienting when the ball's moving that fast. You know, you've got to make your decision. Got a great crowd here for a Sunday morning at the glass court. Well, you got everybody has a cup of Papa Nicholas coffee. Yeah, exactly. So, so that helps very much. I mean, the local people here in the Illinois area, you know, they come to the Shamrock Shootout. You know, there's going to be good coffee. Absolutely. Day and night. Yes. They're replenishing the coffee area every every hour. I had my cup of Kona Brew already this morning, so I'm feeling good about that and. If you're in the Lombard area and can stop by for a cup of coffee and some good racquetball, this would be the day to do it. And this would be the last day to do it. It's a That's po right. Point by Moscoso. Eight serving nine. Eight serving nine. This is really, really close. I got to tell you, it's, uh, if you guys were expecting, you know, a great point differential, I'm sorry to disappoint. But none of these players are having any of that. They're keeping no, it really there really close. hasn't been a run of any kind. The, 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 real, the first point, really big point differential was a four-point run by Jake at the beginning of the match. And then from there, Moscoso cut up, and they've just been going 1-1. One one. That's four is the largest, I'm sorry, three is the largest lead. There has been so far. Four is the largest point run. Nice cut off by Jake, and he's able to get that crack on the side wall, sometimes called the member bounce. It's a great return of serve. You know, he wrapped around there, and he went for the cross court. Conrad had a ton of options right there. Not that, not that it was a bad serve by Jake, but it wasn't his best serve either. Right. But the response was, as you mentioned, the wraparound, mm -hmm. followed by the classic cross court shot. Well, this is the 38th annual Papa Nicholas Coffee Shamrock Shootout. Remember to go online, papanicholas.com, use code RACKETBALL50, and get 50% off all your coffee needs. It's a great promotion here to... Enjoy a great cup of cup, Papa Nicholas coffee. Back to action. Moscoso in the box. Eight serving nine. And that's been some of the keys for Conrado's success against Jake. Just not give him a chance to go on offense. Not give him a chance to get center court. Not give him any opportunity because timing is everything in racquetball, Lauren. Absolutely. And it seems like, you know, not that these... Players at this level don't have bad court sense, but it just seems like, for whatever reason, Monscoso really has his dialed in today. Jake. And that's normally a shot that Jake is pretty handy at, that 38-foot range. He tends to drop him in that right corner on a pretty consistent basis. And you know what? I just don't like his mechanics right now. He's not positioning himself well. He was doing it standing up. He's not encroaching. You know. It's a great serve by Conrado, and frankly, even a better serve by Jake to be able to get a racket on that. Timeout taken. Jake Brennerbeck takes his timeout, and we'll take a short minute break, and we'll be back on RT Live.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're live once again here for those who are just joining us. Conrado Moscoso is leading Jake Benebeck 11-9. Game number one. Juan, I think this was a very wise timeout for Jake because he didn't wait for Conrado to get too far away from him. It's just a two-point differential. Right. Good time management, obviously. You know, let's not get that point spread any farther before you go out and make some decisions on what you're going to do with this last part of the game. 11 serving 9 now. That's a good option right there. Yeah, even though you would think that Conrado was going to go to the right sideline, he'd figure that would be the right, you know, the right shot. But Jake, he was zigzagging, and Conrado caught him going the other way. Right. I thought he was going to go down the line, to be honest with you. But obviously he's got that court sense and saw what Jake was doing. So Conrado Moscoso, obviously from Sucre, Bolivia, which it's a big day in Bolivia today. Is that right? It's if I understand father, it correctly? It's Father's Day in Bolivia today. So I want to say congratulations to every father in Bolivia that I know they're watching. Mr. Conrado is watching his son. That's a point again by Moscoso. So I want to take this time to, you know, congratulate all the fathers in Bolivia. Un saludo a todos los papás, todos los padres de familia. Es el día del padre hoy en Bolivia. Saludos a todos ustedes. Saludos al señor Moscoso, que estoy seguro que está viendo a su hijo ahorita. Saludos, señor, por todos sus esfuerzos y logros que se ven reflejados en esta cancha en Chicago. Felicidades. Feliz día del padre a todos los bolivianos. It's a good gift by Jake. Well, you know... <laughs> We can't talk about enough about sometimes how a good defensive play starts, you know, ends up in an offensive position. Even Javier Mar is one to prove that. Even though he's on defense sometimes, his ball handling skills are so good, he turns a defensive shot into an offensive one. Yeah, absolutely. That's what right now Jake did. Ace serve. Forehand. It's a nice way to get back into the box, that's for yeah. sure. Forehand right there. Forehand drive. Great selection of choice right there, Jake. That's point again. <laughs> and you would have to believe there's got to be some residual from that timeout oh. that he took. Back-to-back -to -back aces right there. Yep. Even though he took it when he was down to he was down by 211. Right now, three points in a row for Jake. Two quick aces, one quick rally. And all of a sudden we have a one-point lead by Jake. He's back in the box. I'm sorry, 12-13. Sorry. Wow, that was great a good cross court. Good pass. Fantastic Absolutely. play. But Jake made three points in less than one minute. Exactly. And sometimes, you know, obviously he had two really hot ace serves. Uh, and that's just got to build his confidence. It does. And the boy will call is made even though... You know, he wasn't in swinging position, but yes, Conrado was in front of him. Right. He can challenge it, though. He's asking. He has one appeal left. I think he probably realizes that would be a fruitful effort to waste that yeah, I think particular so. challenge. So. There was no hesitation to call that avoidable from the referee, so I really would not challenge it either. No, and it looked pretty clean to me well, from this angle anyway. I love Nick to the right. I love that serve. You know, again, he's doing the right thing right now, exploiting that court position. And again, making Conrado swing uncomfortably. And a timeout taken by Conrado now. He takes his timeout. We'll take a one-minute break, and we'll be back on IRT Live. Welcome back, everybody. We want to thank our host, the Glass Court Swim and Fitness Club. You know, uh, Lauren, the owner, uh, Joe De Armas, and the Glass Court president, Dan Jasker, have ensured that the Glass Court is the premier location for racquetball in Illinois and the Midwest. You know, the club, with eight courts, including the International Glass 
Stadium Court, the Jeff Peters Memorial Court, right. has hosted professional events for over 35 years. In addition to racquetball, the Glass Court Swimming Fitness Club has both indoor and outdoor pool, indoor gymnasium, and a whole wide range of cardiovascular and weight training equipment. You know, this is just really a, you know, for, at least for racquetball, it's a landmark right there. And the Papa Nicholas Coffee Shamrock Shootout, remember, go online, papanicholas.com, and use code RACKETBALL50 to get yourself any coffee needs that you're getting from Papa Nicholas. 13, 13. We are back in the box with Jake Redenbeck serving to Conrado Moscoso. The game is now tied at 13 apiece. Good, good pickup. Yep. Jake, great defense by Brennanbeck. Skip shot, cross court. It was really, really good. Let's see this replay. It's really good defensive play by Jake. Yeah, his ability to read that ball placement is just uncanny. But it's not just that. It's how he adapted that shot that hit with the right crack side, and he was there anticipating. And Conrado, you know, Conrado made the right play. I think a, a cross court would have been a winner, but he skipped it. He's just going too low. You know what they say, kids, kill for show, pass for dough. That's exactly right. You know, you were talking moments ago about this facility, the glass court, and Many of us know that Chicago has such a rich history of a lot of different landmarks and things like that. And this certainly is one of them. If you ever have the opportunity to stop by and take a yeah, look, you're going to walk in here and you can just feel the history that's in this building. Over 35 years of professional racquetball tournaments. And there is the game for Jake Bredenbeck, 14-13, the final score. Wow, Jake, tremendous developments here, tremendous performance. We'll be back after a two-minute break. On IRT Live. John Story joined the U.S. military, was killed in an inside attack on the 12th of February, 2014. The biggest thing we want to do to help our local Gold Star families and our veterans that we bring awareness to their opportunities to be served, to be taken care of, to bring to light ever-increasing need for our veterans specifically to have housing, to have good benefits, to be taken care of. Go to livelikejohn.us. Go to the Donate Now button and help us fulfill our mission. I played a lot of matches when I was playing the WRT with the gearbox ball. It's a different ball than the other ones. I think it's better for the game. It's durable. I think for fans it's going to be more enjoyable. The rallies are going to be a little longer. So it's going to be fun. Looks like you've been sleeping well. Megan, he's back, the my pillow guy. And you're looking good. I'm still feeling good. Well, just when you thought it couldn't get any better, we've got the best pillow ever, my pillow 2.0. When I invented my pillow, it had everything you'd ever want in a pillow. Well, now there's new technology that makes it even better. My pillow 2.0 has my patented fill combined with a cooling fabric with temperature regulating thread. My pillow 2.0 is truly the next generation of my pillow. The best sleep just got even better. Whether you have a my pillow or not, you need to get the brand new my pillow 2.0. Call or go to mypillow.com now. Use your promo code and for a limited time when you buy one, you'll get a second one absolutely free. You're sleeping even better and cooler too. And you're looking good. Feeling good. I knew you would. Visit mypillow.com. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, game number two. You know, even though 
the lead was most of it for Corrado. Jake found a way to close that gap. And not only that, to come out with a win in game one so compellingly. I got to ask you, Lauren, what do you think Conrado needs to do here to take this one to a tiebreaker? Boy, I don't know. You know, we've got uh, Jake on the board first in the second game, which is going to start to give him some momentum that he can work with. I think that Conrado is going to have to really take a look at doing what he can to pick up the read on what the ball's going to do after it leaves Jake's racket. And that's difficult when it's moving that fast, but he's going to have to work on that part of it. But, you know, Jake has just made offense more of a part of his, uh, part of his game, higher percentage, and he's not giving really anybody any opportunity to, you know, have time, to have time to swing, to have time to adjust, to have time to encroach. That's another point by Jake. Very, very strong performance. And, you know, and that's the thing about racquetball. If you keep your opponent off at the center, if you just make him uncomfortable, you know, you're going to increase your opportunity to go on full offense. This is what Jake is doing. He's not taking any time to serve. Not, and you're exactly you know, right. You know, not that we compare certainly, but just to illustrate the point, last night's match between Conrado Moscoso and Rodrigo Montoya, two games which Con, um, Conrado won um, in, you know, in fashion, uh, uh, which Conrado won. Sorry. Somebody's trying to hand me something yeah. while I'm trying yeah. to talk. Conrado won both matches last night, 15-14. But it was a two-hour game. And so you're exactly right. Jake it just has a different pace to the game. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if maybe that's throwing Conrado off or not. My sense is that it is. No, oh, it is. Because, you know, if, if you have an opponent that is just getting ready to serve, you know, he has 10 seconds, but he takes two. You know, it doesn't give you enough time to read. And we saw Conrado lifting his racket over his head plenty of times when he was receiving. Right. Yeah. Screen serve called. Great swing, Jake. On the left. Bredden back back in the box, leading now 3-0 in game two. You, you know, very rarely have I seen Jake this focus in all business. That's an ace serve again. Look at look at the game face right now of Jake Bredenbeck. I mean, that is 110% concentration right there. All business. Again, all business, focus and concentration. Right now, Jake is definitely playing his best racquetball. Five serving zero. Nice good reset by Jake. Wow. Oh Again, yeah. another shot where you stand back and you put him, but you just have to look at your opponent and say, that was a really nice shot. Let's check out this replay because I have to tell you, that shot caught everyone off guard. Not just Jake Brennenbeck, even us here in the booth. Look at Conrado's swing. He was going to go as if he wanted to do a ceiling shot, and boom. Right in the corner. Even Jake clapped in that shot. Yeah. Great recovery, Jake. It's really not leaving too much room for Conrado to do his game. He is not. He is just so focused on what Conrado is trying to do to make a difference, and he meets it every time. And up to the left. Conrado had to cut that one off. That's a skip shot. Point again, Jake. We are at six serving zero in game two. If you've just joined us and haven't seen the scoreboard, Bredenbeck won the first game 15-13. It's a wide angle pass. Fan Smart shot. It's a fantastic shot, and he know he had to do it perfectly well because Jake was not that far off, to be honest. No, and even during that rally, though, Jake was almost like he was telepathically reading what 
Moscoso was going to do and put himself in position every time. Zero serve six now. You have to imagine what's going through Conrado's mind right now because he has a, right now he has to solve a puzzle. I was just thinking that, Fabio. What is he thinking about doing next? Because apparently what he's been trying to do obviously is not working. It's just, Jake is just doing the right things. He's putting the shots where he needs to. He's not giving Conrado any opportunity to even make a retrieval on him. I just see two people that are hard workers in racquetball. They train a lot. They do their homework. That's another point. To and me, as an amateur watching racquetball, the pros especially, that is a classic Jake Bredenbeck shot. No. About 38 feet back, and he just dumps it in the right corner. I mean, did you think that he was going to lead 8-0 in game number two? Well, frankly, no, I didn't. The game's not over yet. Oh, that's a oh, good diving good get by reach. Jake. Got up. Jake. Oh, boy, that was so close, huh? Double bounce called. Let's see, let's see a replay. A side was called. Referee says that Jake did not reach that shot. Look at this. Double bounce called. Well, I don't see Jake challenging it, though. I want to remind everybody this is the, the, ref, the ref is asking if he wants the appeal or not, but 30, I don't know that he's going to do it. 38th annual Papa Nicholas Coffee Shamrock Shoot. I remember, go online. PapaNicholas.com. Use Racquetball50 as your promotional go to get 50% off all of your coffee needs. Also want to thank Dreger Law. Because relying on a strong commercial background, Mr. Robert Dreger focuses his practice primarily in the areas of transactional and construction law and dispute resolution. His clients range from professional service corporations to closely held businesses in a wide variety of industries. Dragger Law, make sure to check him out. And also, we want to thank yesterday, Anthony's Pizza, Lauren. They brought us great pizza, meatballs, they bought pasta, they brought salad. So good. Anthony's Pizza from Mr. Anthony Cosmano and his son, Tony Cosmano. They have taken such good care of us here. We're back to live action. That was an interesting serve from Moscoso. He went for at Z. It was high and a certain speed. Even though that Jake's response was good, you know, Conrado got what he wanted out of that shot. Absolutely. Beautiful down the line pass to finish it. So and that's not, the second time he's used that but not, serve. But it not wasn't the same as in you know, how far he came off that sidewall. You know, Jake had more room to swing. Right. The first one was a little farther back. So far, so good for Conrado. Two points in a row using that same serve. That's the right play again. Conrado boxed in Jake to the right, and he had the whole left side of the court to himself. He did, and interestingly enough i didn't think he had a lot of pace on the ball relatively to how these guys usually play i mean it was hard but it wasn't like oh my goodness hard where he couldn't get to it second opportunity I want to thank also cheryl kirk and kit lawson country financial bruce nelson john o'donnell jr skin deep day spa linda and george pappas thank you very much also for your support of this event Down the line winner. Also want to thank all our racquetball sponsors for supporting our silent auction and junior clinic for the Illinois State Racquetball Association, Headpin Racket Sports, Gearbox, and Pro Kennex. Jake back in the box now, 8-3. Double bounce called. You know what? Even though that Conrado got that one, I just don't like that he's taking that much opportunity to give. Jake is has really good defense. He's really fast. So that 
shot right there, very dangerous for him to make. Yes. I mean, obviously Jake wasn't able to get to it, but to give him the opportunity is. That is a bread and back shot right there. You pretty much just have to make up your mind on a shot like that and just hit it and see what happens. But, <laughs> I mean, when I mean that facetiously, I mean, Jake clearly knew what he wanted to do and committed to it, and you see the end result. Second serve, that was a short one. Not a, not a bad choice for a second surfer, Jake, but Conrado cut that one off perfectly. Back to a drive serve maybe for Conrado? Seems so. Good diving get by Brett. 